Rifkin came up with a great segment today. It's called Layup or Long Shot. Look at the hops <laughs> on my man. Holy smokes on the five foot rim. Uh, we start with uh, Gary Sanchez, <laughs> who did get tendered on Wednesday. He's going to make more than a, probably five million. Um, the question is layup or long shot? Gary Sanchez, an all star in 2021. You know what? It, 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 it's not a long shot. It's not a layup. You know how much I love his swing. I love the damage that he, when he gets hot, he's their best right handed hitter in that lineup. But I'm going to tell you, Chris, God, this is a tough one because when I'm looking at Gary, I want to say layup, but it's it, it leans layup. I'm going final answer layup, layup because I'm going to tell you right now, he's going to get better defensively. Shot. He's working hard. Sorry, it's a layup. Okay, I love him. I'm not falling for the COVID 140 this year. It's a long shot. It's a long shot. Uh, unless there's just nobody in the American League. You know, we do have Yasmani Grandal. I don't know where JT Real Muto ends up. The catching position is, does not have tremendous depth right now. So that's the only yep. reason I'm giving him a chance. I, I think he's a guy that has to move on from New York in order to become Gary Sanchez. But that's just my opinion. There you go. Up next, Marcelo Zuna, one of the biggest named free agent bats out there. A lot of teams have been talking to him. But layup or long shot that he is going to get more money in free agency than Nick Castellanos did last year when he got four years and 64 mil from the Reds. You know what? It's a layup that he's getting more, Chris. This guy on the po in the postseason does so much damage and did it on a big stage. And I'm going to tell you, led the league in home runs with 18 this year in National League. And when you look at Marcelo Zuna, uh, Zuna, you make money in the postseason. Everybody that has huge postseasons becomes very rich. So, Marcel, congratulations. You're making more than Nicky Fresh did last offseason. Yeah, it should be a layup, even though he's two years older than Castellanos when he got his deal. Here's the thing I'm worried about. I just don't know about the economic climate. And so I don't know what you're going to pay a guy who is primarily a DH. Can you play him in left field? Absolutely. Do you want him as your everyday left fielder at this point? I just don't know. So I would lean more toward layup. And so if I'm pressed to make an answer, which you had trouble doing on the first question, I will say layup, but it's with an asterisk. See, that's how you do it. You put the asterisk next to oh. the layup if you're not 100% sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's double standards. So, Got it. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. No, not double standards. It's just moving. Yeah, it's kind of double standards. So it's a good call. Uh, finally, let's circle back to the first clip that we showed this segment. The Damian Lillard hitting three um, half-court shots in a row. If you followed us over the last decade or so, you know we are non-athletic and can't play hoops worth a lick. But, Kev, if given 24 <laughs> hours to try, one of us could make three straight half-court shots. Is that a layup or a long shot? It's a long shot because I'm going to use the backboard. I throw kind of a top spin knuckleball. It's been my whole jump shot. This is the thing, Chris. My neighbor, and thank you so much. This is my trick shot I was trying to do. My neighbor, Clay Buckholz, has a gym right next door to me, and I'm still terrible. I'm like that guy that gets picked last. It's a knuckleball that goes forward. They're bricks, so it's a long shot for me personally. I will give you a little secret. It's actually the best shot in my repertoire, the half-court shot. So I think I can do this in a 24-hour period where I could hit three in a row. So I would normally say layup. Let me the see reason I shot. have to say long shot is, A, well, you've seen my court in the backyard. It's too short. It's only the three-point hoop. We don't have enough space. We live in Los Angeles, so we live in uh, tiny little sheds out here. And then every park is closed right now. So I can't even go to a park and try it out. So because I don't live next to somebody that's filthy rich like you, I can't hop in their indoor court and actually try this. I wish I could. So it's going to yeah. be a long shot. But you get I skill. would love to try it.